Hello friends, I am Varsha Gaitonde and welcome to my channel. Here I am going to talk about rubber production, processing along with one success story. Yes, the success story is about one personality that is Simon Uncle who lives in Bamangi village of Joida Taluk which is a village of Western Ghats. He started his agriculture career around 10 years back. Initially, he planted plantation crops, but unfortunately, because of the fluctuating rainfall and temperature, he converted some of his land into this rubber plantation. Yes, year by year, he started getting very less productivity in his plantation, but now rubber is giving him lot of income. Yearly, he can save around 4 to 5 lakhs because of this practice. The scientific name of rubber is Havia brasilensis. There are different uh, species also. This belongs to Euphorbiaceae family. It is propagated with sexual as well as asexual means. Both are having their own advantages and disadvantages. If it is seed propagated, the rubber has 60% latex and 40% water. If it is propagated asexually by the means of budding, the budded rubber has 85 to 90% of latex and 10 to 55, 15% uh, of water. Spacing of the plantation is 2 into 10 meters means around 500 plants per hectare can be planted. If it is 3 into 8 meter means 416 plants can be planted in one hectare. The main advantage of this is in the empty or fallow space we can grow vegetables as well as different shade loving plantation crops. The another important character of rubber is it is less water required crop. Unless we are going to harvest the rubber, there is drip irrigation is sufficient and if when we are going to harvest the rubber, at least one or two heavy rains are required in order to get the adequate amount of latex. Coming to the special practices in rubber, the first and foremost is pruning. When plants become three to four years old, good tapping promoting branches is very essential. If a tree grows long like pole, there won't be good girth of the tree. So the amount of harvested latex will be low. To avoid this, pruning is very important. The second process is tapping. The basic process of harvesting rubber, of getting latex from the rubber trees and timing of the tapping is 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. At this uh, time, the rubber harvesting or the amount of latex received is really good or else after this the amount will be reduced. Periodical removal of the slices of bark to obstruct the rubber latex. It is the process of controlling wounding with the shaving of the bark removed. The latex vessels are found in the inner layer of the soft bust of the bark. In the alternate years the Position of cutting should be kept in alternate places, means in different sides. While tapping, the cambium should not be damaged as otherwise the callus formation will take place causing swelling. Rubber trees attain tapping stage around 7 to 8 years. The best season is March or September depending upon the girth of a tree. Latex vessels in the bark flow at an angle of 32 degree to the right and therefore a cut at the higher level from the left or right has to be carried to facilitate opening of the large number of latex vessels. Peak of rubber harvesting in the high foliar stage is uh, promoted. Latex harvest increases from year or 8 years onwards, the peak reaches at 14 or 18 years after planting. Means once the rubber plant attains 40 years, there won't be further yield of latex. Latex yield varies with the clone age of the tree, fertility of the soil, climatic conditions and skills of the tappers. Let us see the different types of tapping. First one is puncture tapping which is done with a small needle, then slaughter tapping, which is a horrible kind. The third one is 
rain gardening this is also a common practice in kerala side but in karnataka puncture tapping is usually followed once the tapping is completed anticoagulants are added like ammonia sodium sulfate formalin etc and the most popular one is ammonia 0.7% when we harvest the rubber yield is around 375 kg per hectare if it is seed propagated and around 900 to 1000 kg per hectare if it is budded plantation processing of the rubber the latex that flows out from the trees on tapping is taken into a container and then transferring to clean basket 2 to 3 hours after tapping the latex which gets a dried up on tapped panel or tree lace and the collection cups shell scraps are also form of a part of crop and collected by the tapper in the basket the latex split include overflow of the ground or earth scrap when gets a dried up it is also collected once in a month normally 10 to 20% of the total crop constitute the tree lace shell scrap and earth scrap let us see the processing and marketing of rubber it is preserved as latex concentrate then dried sheet rubber and dry creep rubber the process which i have covered in this uh, video is dried sheet rubber the process have the farmer using is dried sheet rubber here anticoagulants formalin is added to the cups to prevent coagulation the last stage is rubber rolling after coagulation rubber sheets are repeatedly washed several times with changes of water and passed through hand or power operated rollers the process is followed in order to remove excess water and dissolved impurities surface of the roller may be either smooth or grooved or zigzag or diamond pattern the impressions are normally left on the surface of sheet when they come out of the press sheets are hung in shade for 2 to 3 hours for dripping in a dust free place then dry to smoke house to dry the sheets properly the golden brown color of the sheets are highly valued and based on the texture and color the value is assigned and then graded and packed thank you hello friends